Jane Benson. Oh, Miss Benson. Yes. You probably don't know me from Adam, but I'm a sort of relation of yours. Oh, how'd you do? I've come all the way from London just to see you, my dear. I see. Oh, won't you come in here? Oh, thank you. You know, my dear, we're practically six cousins, and I felt as a member of the family I ought to take charge of you, so to speak. And you'll need protection from all the horrible, unscrupulous people who'll be after you. Uh, the money is all yours, isn't it? All of it. With no strings attached? I can spend it all tomorrow. Oh, lovely. You'll be coming up to London at once, of course, and then you'll want to go over to Paris and get some clothes, and I'll trot along and chaperone you. Oh, my dear, such a lucky girl. And you're going for a ride over the moon. Ride over the moon? Sounds marvellous. You, you don't mind if I ask you what you're going to charge for all this, do you? Charge? Why did I tell you I'm one of the family? I know, but you couldn't do all this for nothing, could you? <laughs> I see you're a very sensible girl, Jane. Oh, by the way, do call me Julie. Your conclusions about me are absolutely correct. I'm nothing but an old pirate. I've never done anything unselfish in my life, and if you keep my health, I never shall. But being a bit of a crook myself, I know the ways of other crooks, and I can help you to outwit them. <laughs> I'm sure you can, Julie. Then I can consider myself engaged? Yes. Uh, there's a lady Parsmill to see you, miss. And a lot of men with cameras have arrived. Parsmill? Oh, the vouchers are descending. I'll attend her. Now, Jane, you go into the garden with the photographers. Come along, dear. Ah, oh, my dear Miss Benson, it really is too disgraceful of me not to have called sooner. Why, I'm sorry. I've got a little place almost next door to you, Moat Farm, but I've been away all the winter, otherwise I would have called sooner. This is very nice of you to come now. Do you know Mrs. Deathrop, Lady oh, Parsmill? Why, oh, my oh, dear, dear darling. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Jane, dear, you run along to the photographers in the garden. Here she comes, boys. Oh, hello, Miss Benson. Do you mind standing over here so the boys can get a picture? Now, Miss Benson, give us a nice bright smile. You can afford it. All right, boys. Get it. You're not going to be too selfish, Julie, dear. Remember, I can be very unpleasant if I want to be. <laughs> I'm sure you can, Millie, dear. Oh, no, I won't be selfish. But let it be distinctly understood, now and henceforth, that I got here first. 